Hello, dear Albertus Magnus College family and friends. It is a beautiful early August evening in New Haven, and I am in one of the most beautiful spots on the Albertus campus, the Italian gardens behind Rosary Hall, and it's one of my favorite spots. It's been some time since I reached out to you with a video message, an update on the college, and although it's quiet this time of year on campus as we prepare for another exciting academic year ahead, I thought it was timely to reach out with a few updates. The academic year that just wrapped up was, as is always the case at Albertus, impactful, filled with stories of Albertus impact and excellence. In May, at long last, we held the college's much delayed Lighting the Way Gala. More than 400 people joined us on campus, under the tent, under the stars, to celebrate Albertus impact, to acknowledge our honorees, and to raise essential dollars to go toward helping Albertus students achieve their dreams. And as May brought a close to the college's historic 97th anniversary year, we conducted the annual commencement exercises. For me, my favorite day of the year, where we celebrate the degree achievement dreams of all of our graduating students. But while the academic year came to an end in May, we've been busy all summer at the college, continuing with our spirit of innovation, strengthening the value proposition for an Albertus Magnus College education. In June, we announced a partnership with Fairfield University where our graduates in the sciences will be able to go on to Fairfield and in one year's time, finish the requirements for a bachelor's in nursing degree. And while we're thrilled with that innovative partnership, the college also has embarked upon the process of assessing, standing up our own bachelor's in nursing program in the not too distant future. Also in June, we conducted our annual orientation and registration programs for our incoming first year and transfer students in the traditional undergraduate program. As July unfolded, we had exciting announcements around the college's intercollegiate athletics program with new athletic director, Mike Kobolanski joining us in building on the already great strengths of Falcons Athletics. We also announced the college's commitment to bring forward a women's ice hockey program. We had planned to do that from when we announced the men's program a few years ago, but the pandemic delayed planning. Now we're moving forward and beginning in the 2023-24 year, the women fearless Falcons ice hockey players will take the ice and compete alongside our men's program. And as July progressed on July 18th, the college hosted its fourth annual Albertus Magnus College Scholarship Golf Classic with all net proceeds going directly to essential scholarship dollars, again, to help our students achieve their degree earning dreams. And if all of that wasn't enough, as July wrapped up, we had the great honor, the unexpected honor of welcoming the First Lady of the United States, Dr. Jill Biden, and Secretary of Education, Dr. Miguel Cardona, to the Albertus campus, where they visited with our students in the Horizons at Albertus Magnus College program, a program that we volunteered to stand up a year ago when Horizons National approached us, all with a spirit of providing learning loss education intervention for the children who have been so negatively impacted during the pandemic.
It was an amazing day and what a great honor to host the First Lady on this campus. And with the blink of an eye, it's August. It's hard for me to believe that in just a few short weeks, on Friday, August 26th, our newest Fearless Falcons, our incoming class of 2026 members will move in and the new academic year will be launched shortly thereafter. And as I look forward to the academic year ahead, we will have many programs designed for our alumni, for our parents, friends of the college, including homecoming weekend, the weekend of October 14th in the fall, a beautiful time to come back to your alma mater, to come to Albertus, to spend time with your children if they're studying with us, to spend time with classmates, in great programming all weekend long. For me, as I've shared with you before, one of the sources of inspiration is when I get to meet Albertus alumni and hear your stories of Albertus impact. So I hope you'll join us for homecoming. And knowing modern technology and our incredible IT and marketing colleagues at this college, I know that when you get this video, there'll be hyperlinks and you can click here and click there for more information. I hope you'll do that. But know that as I wrap up this update, I continue to be filled with inspiration, filled with great honor and privilege to serve as president for this life and dreams elevating college. And I look forward to being with you in person sooner rather than later. Know that you and those you love are always in my prayers. And I remain ever grateful for your support of this college. God bless you.